All right, guys, it's talk back time, and today we're asking what happens to your greens when they hit the blender? So today we're doing a solid for one of our favorite regular guests, Nicole Baffa. Recently, Nicole brought us this question. Okay, so it's really hard for me to prepare vegetables. I'm just not very creative with them. So sometimes I just like to blend them. Does that take away all the nutrients or is that okay? That's a great question, especially considering that finding nutritious food isn't an easy thing for a lot of people. And the last thing that we want them to do is to dilute whatever nutrients that they are receiving just so they can take it in the car with them on the way to work. So what happens to our produce when we do blend it? To help us answer this question is Devin Alexander, who is a chef for Biggest Loser and also a weight loss expert. Thank you so much for coming back. My pleasure. So what are the benefits of juicing? People don't get enough servings of fruits and vegetables a day. We know that. And for right. some people to eat nine servings a day is a lot. But if you can drink it in the morning, you get all your nutrients in early, it actually stops cravings when your body has the nutrients it needs. So it can set you up for a really good day. There's the whole dietary fiber argument. Can you elaborate on that? So the thing about juicing that isn't good is the fiber is in the pulp. So you take that out of it, you're taking away the fiber. Okay. You're still getting the vitamins and minerals, so it's better than not eating your veggies. But if you can stomach actually consuming the pulp, that's the way to go. Say there are people who just do not want that pulp in their juice. Okay. Are there other options for dietary fiber? If you really aren't getting your fruits and vegetables and you've always been a person who just doesn't, like you either just don't buy enough or you don't consume enough because it's not convenient and you find juicing mm -hmm. to be a way to at least get the nutrients and vitamins from them, even if you don't eat the fiber, well, that's a better step. Take that step now. And then maybe later you'll be willing to take the next one. Right. But I just, I hate the extremist like, do this or it's not worth it at all and that sends you back to those bags of potato chips or something. Right. So what kind of fruits and veggies do you recommend putting in your juices? You know, that is a really good question because a lot of times you're like, oh, I'm going to go get one of those juice smoothies. Right. And they use like grape juice or apple juice as most of it which aren't the most nutritious juices. They have a lot more sugar than others. You want to try to stick with the green ones. Okay. So your kales and spinach and parsley, cucumber, celery, things like that are going to be a lot better for you. Fresh squeezed also. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but from the time that vegetables and fruits are picked, they start losing their nutrient content. Like immediately? Yeah, I mean, it's not like 10 minutes later. Right. It's pointless. Right. But, you know, like a couple weeks later. So that's a really good reason to buy fresh and local. Okay. Because it's likely, you know, not been shipped across the country for an entire week. So question, in, especially for those people who watch late night infomercials. Oh. There's always these like fancy juicers and fancy blenders that you get more nutrients. Mm -hmm. How legit is that and do you really need that? There's two different kinds of juicers that are really popular. One, the blades of the blender heat up the juice. Okay. So it's taking away a little bit of the nutrients. The okay. better one is cold pressed because it's cold, it smashes the juice. It's not like some sort of gravity centrifugal force sort right. of situation. Sure. So better, but again, it's better if that one's 400 and this one's 200 and you can afford the 200 you're still getting your juice you know sure. use logic do what's best for you don't go oh well they said that if you you know do something in a blender that gets a little warm even though i don't see my blender getting warm that it's not as good for you so i'm just not going to bother right no, right no 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 that's, no. that's what way. we want to stay away from sure well thank you so much again devin for coming in it's been quite delightful and uh cheers cheers to juicing mm-hmm Thinking about what we put into our bodies is an important part of our health, but we can't forget that there are people out there who can't afford or even find these ever so important foods. So now that you know how to get the most out of your food, give a little back and take your place in the fight against food insecurity by clicking the links in the description below. For BFD, I'm Marisha Ray. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Cheers.